that this fish has a tumor. Genetically engineered for fishermen. I can't climb it, there's barbed wire. <laughs> there's a fish on him. This is what we've been waiting for. It's a beautiful smallie. How's it going? I was uh, hoping that you guys would have a certain bait. I don't know the name of it. It kind of looks like a baby carp or a big goldfish. Black salt. It's called a what? Black salt. Yeah, those are it, yeah. How much are those? $1.25 each. $1.25 each? Woo! How about I take uh, six of those, please? And can I also get um, a half dozen of, uh, a half pint of bull minnows? Thank you. Got my rods, got my bait. And right down there is the reservoir. Never fished here before. First thing we need to do is figure out whether I want to fish on top or down below. We're on the top of the dam right here. Not very much bank access. I kind of want to look over this bridge, but no trespassing, no fishing in this area. No trespassing, prohibido el paso. Unfortunately, I will not be able to see over this fence. I can't climb it, there's barbed wire. But what I can do is I can put my camera all the way up here. And can you guys see over the fence? What does it look like? You see anything cool? Hmm, I'll look at that footage later, but I'm thinking that we should try to somehow climb down there and go fishing on those rocks. I'm walking down, and if you look behind me, we've got barbed wire fences on all corners. I can't get around this. I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to fish out here. I didn't see anything about not fishing down here. All it said was that you're not allowed to go into the water. Didn't say anything about fishing off the bank. So we're gonna have to find a creative route to get down there. Today's gonna be an adventure. Behind me, we have a 30 foot rock wall going almost straight up. I'm gonna try to climb on top so I can get a better view and figure out a way to get down there legally and safely. That's a tall wall. Here goes nothing. Here's where my years of ninja training are about to pay off. No good guys, it's way too much brush. We're gonna need to find an alternative route in order to start fishing. You know what guys, we're already over here so let's just give it a shot down there and see if we can find any fish. I mean, in theory, you should be able to find some fish right up against this wall. It looks pretty good. Dude, it smells like piss down here. And look at this guys, that is some nasty looking barbed wire. They ain't messing around right there. The moment you've all been waiting for, let us pull out a salty. Oh, here we go. We got three of them in here. Oh, this guy looks just like a hybrid between a carp and a goldfish. There it is, guys. The black salty, genetically engineered for fishermen. I will talk more about that later. First off, let's get this guy in the water. And let's start fishing. We're going old school today. We got the classic round bobber. About a 20 inch leader, and we've got a light wire drop shot hook. Hook this guy through both lips, out the nostril, like that. And we're gonna cast him out. Let's go and drop him in the water. Oh yeah, oh he's swimming. I mean, if there's a fish here, I'm gonna try to get it right in that corner. This guy should get demolished, in theory. Nice gentle cast. I mean, that's a little off center. Oh, I mean, he's swimming right to the corner. But we're gonna leave that there and I've got some bull minnows for comparison to see which bait really works the best. So let's go ahead and set that up too. Rig number two, we're gonna need a bull minnow. Let's grab a nice small one. This way we can get a variety of baits out there. This guy looks perfect. And back in. And then this time we're gonna cast close to the brush pile. 
because who knows, it might be a big crappie or something by it. Just flip that right by there. Hopefully it does not get snagged. Just drag nice and loose. And now we wait. I mean, that salty has been going crazy this entire time. I have been impressed with the, uh, the action on the bait. Has been very, very impressive. And, well, what the heck? Jeez. Look at this, this wall is crawling with all these sediment pea like things. I don't know if it's like breeding season or something. Oh, oh, right there. Look at them, they mounted each other. It's breeding season. There's probably 10,000 of them. Look at this, look, right there. They got a little orgy going on down there. That is crazy. Oh, what? Nope, nope, we're not losing them. These salties are way too expensive to be losing already. We're going out there and I'm gonna show you what it looks like underwater here because I see a lot of fish. All right. Ah. Look at this br beautiful brush pile. I'm probably rooting the whole thing. Ah. Ooh, getting deep out here. Look over here. I see anything? This is gonna be a two hand rescue mission. It's pretty deep out there. We're heading back in, but this time we've got the chest mount. Let's see where you're at. Oh man, it's underwater. We're going under, boys. We're going under. I learned two things. That brush pile goes really deep and this water is insanely deep here. I don't think I should be bobber fishing. Let's check something out. Oh my God. Oh, something just ate the bobber. Did you guys see that fish? It came up and attacked the freaking bobber. Are you freaking kidding me? That looked like a giant smallie. That was literally the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Been fishing for over two and a half hours, make a cast right beyond the brush pile. A fish comes up and attacks my freaking bobber. I have a live minnow right under it. This is why I don't fish live bait. Oh wait, he's getting eaten. Oh, I got, I got a bite. Damn, I was peeing. I got a fish. Ah. We got a fish. First, no, 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 please don't get stuck. Okay, first fish of the day right here. Oh, no, 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 he's gonna get stuck. No, damn, man, he's peeing. No, 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 don't get stuck, please. I got you, fish number one, no. Are you freaking kidding me? I've got a five inch bass. Three hours of fishing. This is what I catch. What the heck? And this guy is a freaking freak. Something very strange is going on with this fish. If you can see, I hooked it on the top. What the heck is that? So guys, if you look at this fish, it has some kind of weird growth at the top of his mouth. So look at the top right here. Now let's look at the bottom of him. There's something growing under the roof of his mouth. Guys, I mean, I mean, I don't know what this is. Comment below, what do you think is going on with this fish? I mean, to me, it almost looks like a tumor. I almost think that this fish has a tumor in its nasal cavity right here. If I, if I touch it, it's really hard right here. And let's go ahead and touch the bottom right here. I mean, something soft and fleshy. It feels kind of weird. Feels very strange. I mean, 
This could be some kind of injury or infection, but I just don't know. Not a healthy fish at all. All right, good luck to you, buddy. Hope you make it. Off he goes. Dude, he's not healthy at all. I and mean, watch this. Ah, I can actually grab him out of the water. This is how unhealthy this fish is. I definitely think this guy has some type of cancer and I don't think he's gonna live very long. Well, bud, you have some unlucky genetics. Rest in peace, my friend. You will not be living long. Off he goes. Dude, what the heck? You guys gotta check this out. That's the craziest sight I've ever seen. Uh, we, we need to go underwater for this. If you guys look, all these bluegill are going up to my salty. They're like, oh, who are you? We don't recognize you. What's going on here? So let me guys show you the action of this. He's actually running away from me, the salty. There's all the bluegill right here. There's the salt, there's Mr. Salty getting stuck in all the branches and stuff. Dude, he got attacked. This guy definitely got attacked by something. You guys can check out, look at that. He got attacked on his side. Some of his gills, some of his scales are missing. Look at the action. We've been fishing the same salty for over an hour. Look at the way he moves. So I mean, for a genetically modified fish, he definitely has some impressive action. He's been attacked and he's still moving very, very well. Let's take a moment and talk about the bait for today. The black salty, half carp, half goldfish in appearance, gold and silver, very interesting bait. Let's put him back in the bucket. If we take a look at this article right here, that's a big claim. One of the best live baits, the new black salty. Gold, silver, goldfish engineered for a variety of live bait fishing applications, including saltwater. You can fish it in freshwater or saltwater. Advances in bioengineering and aquaculture techniques make it possible to manufacture new, never before seen creatures. And some of these modernistic mutants are dinner in the eyes of hungry game fish. Uh, they use a proprietary patent pending process that enables this freshwater bait fish to stay on the hook in salt water for up to 1.5 hours. That is impressive. Vigorous in fresh waters and salt, black salties are livelier on the hook than anything else on the market. I mean, there's a lot of big claims to the black salty. I'm gonna try to find a way down below to the dam. And if we can, the video continues. If not, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. That was interesting. I think we might be able to make it down, guys. Just maybe, a little bit of luck. Holy Toledo, guys. By some miracle, we made it to the Great Dam. Look at that. You know there's gotta be some fish under there. There has to be. My final salty. Let's see if I get my money's worth and get one fish on them. Just one. I'm not gonna be greedy. I'll take one of anything. All right, here goes nothing. Oh wait, something's chasing my salty. Something is chasing my salty right now. Oh my God, there's four bass chasing my salty. He just took it. He took the salty. He took it. Dude, that was insane. I just saw them come up and eat it. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. I literally saw a whole school of bass chasing that salty. Oh no, he let go. I think he let go. They're right in front of me. This water is crystal clear. Oh, he took it, he's on it. He's on again, he's gone again. They're all on it. I think it's too big. I can't tell if he's, it's like a feeding frenzy over there. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he took it, he took it. Dude, we need to get some underwater footage. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, he got him, I got him. Oh, right, we got one. Okay, no underwater footage. Oh, we, he's on it. We got him. Okay, good fish. Whoa. Dude, that was insane. There's five fish following. All right, we are getting underwater footage. Whoa, we are getting underwater footage after all. All right, here we go. On the slippery rock. That's a good fish. There's two following him. Look at this, guys. Check this out. All right, get this fish in. This is a good fish. This is what we've been waiting for. It's a beautiful smallie. Look at him, look at all the fish following him. There are fish following him in. That is insane. 
That is an absolute gorgeous fish. There's a giant one following him. That is nuts. Okay. Uh, let's land him. Come here, come here. Let's go. Beautiful smolly right here. Woo, on the salty. You wanna see it? <laughs> All right. Do you wanna see the fish? Yeah? Yeah, this is a smallmouth bass. Have you ever been fishing before? No. You, is that your brother? No. No, you should. Best friend. A best friend. Yeah, this is a uh, smallmouth bass right here. Oh, it's a smallmouth yeah. bass. Yep. So we're gonna let him go. Do you want to touch him or anything? I like it. Yeah, go ahead. You want to pet him? Slimy. Him it's slimy. Look, if I touch him, will you touch him, Eli? Look, you don't have to touch look him. Look at him go. Look, he is really slimy. <laughs> He's pretty cool. You just want to look at it, that's fine I too. Know. All yeah. right, we're gonna let him go, right? Awesome. This beauty deserves an underwater release. Here we go, guys. Beautiful smallmouth, probably close to two pounds right there. And off she goes. Oh, we can follow her. Oh, there she goes. Dude, oh, look at him, they're still following her. All right, we gotta get back in there. All right, we should still have a half dead salty in here. Oh, wait a second. We have, wait, we have, we have more than I thought. All right, guys, smally time. We're not done yet. I'm gonna try to film that feeding frenzy. It was absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like that before. So we're gonna throw our bait pretty close. All right, let's just do the same thing we did last time. We're just gonna throw our bait, not too far, just out there, like that. That should do it. Time to get in there and film. Whoa. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he got one. Oh, he got it. Oh, okay. No time to film the frenzy. We got another fish. We got another fish. All right, let's hook this guy. Woo, so slip. Dude, I'm freaking out right now. Dude, fish on, fish on. Dude, this fishing down here. Uh, these salties are worth every penny. They're worth every penny, guys. Another smallie. Dude, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen down here. There's one chasing him. There's one chasing him. If I, I could probably net him with my net. Whoa! Oh, there he goes! Oh no, he got off! Oh my gosh, okay. Is that salty? Salty's still alive. All right, let's film it for real this time. The salty ain't really moving that much. There's a fish on him. Oh, see, you guys see that? These fish are not interested. They're out there. They are not interested unless Unless you actually see the fish. All right, we need a new fish. That ain't gonna work. They don't want the dead stuff. All right, guys. We're gonna throw out the bull minnow too. We're gonna see which one they prefer. I think they might prefer the bull minnow. It should be a better size for them to eat. These mollies should not be able to handle a fresh minnow in their face. Oh, he's swimming. That, that minnow has some extremely... Oh, he got eaten. He got eaten. That's all it took. You got him. I got him. That all... These smallies respond incredibly impressively. They're trying to eat the bobber. These smallies are so freaking aggressive. Anything that has erratic action will catch them. Dude, that's why he went after my bobber that one time. It's ridiculous. Whoa. Hey, these guys fight so hard. There's a whole school of them right here. Oh my. Dude, I freaking love smallmouth. There's nothing I love more than beautiful bronzes. Come here, baby. Woo! Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, you ain't going nowhere, baby. You ain't going nowhere. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. All that hard work today. Finally paid off. Look at this beauty. They are so fat here. They are, look how good. This thing is just gorging. Absolutely beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful specimen. We're going to let her go. All right, baby. Okay. Oh, you're ready. Get out of here. There she goes. Right there. All these fish are just getting triggered. If I had more salties, it'd be game over. I'm out of salties, unfortunately. But anything that's erratic is tr are triggering these smallies right here. Let's do that again. All right. Who's going to be next on the dinner plate? Oh, this guy's perfect. This is the one. Look him right through the lips. All right, buddy. Get back in there. We're going again. Oh, he's done. That minnow's gonna be done. 
You just gotta eat. Got him. We got another one. That's how easy it is. No! Oh, the smallies are so acrobatic. Dude, it does not get better than this out here. I probably got a little too hyped, but I have not had a good fishing day in quite a while. And I came here, never been here before, and we just found the mother load of smallmouth bass. Absolutely incredible out here. Dude, these guys are literally monsters. This is like the hardest fighting freshwater fish there is. Come here, come here. Woo -woo -woo. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Got you. That's another beauty. Let's get you back to your friends. There you go. Off she goes. I could do this all day. <laughs> 